when I saw the uh, taking a lot of money, banknotes, and smelling them, money, I decided to reach into my pocket to watch what I had. <laughs> <laughs> Comparing my measly funds to Riyadh's richness, I decided that perhaps his speech was worth it to listen to. And I did. But apart of just enjoying your speech, I also noticed a couple of technical things. And today I want to share them with you and with the audience. I want to start with the things that I think you did well and conclude with things I think you could have done better. What did you do well? For me personally, two things to out. Your visuals and which is very important, your contact with the audience. Visuals, <coughs> what of banknotes. The, I will probably remember it a year after that, <coughs> perhaps several years after that, because I'm jealous, right, of your region. <laughs> nice slides, helping people understand what you were talking about. Slides were not only informative, they were also funny, which helped you establish better contact with the audience. And the contact, the second part, was very nice. You tried making jokes. People laughed at your jokes. Perhaps sometimes they laughed at, he, laughed at you, but nevertheless, the contact was there. Great job. You really have charisma to develop, to use as a foundation for you, development as a speaker. What you could have done better to deliver a better speech? Two things. If you want your audience to watch you carefully, enjoy your speech, watch your word choice. The second thing, you have body language. You have contact with the audience. You have visuals. You don't have much of vocal variety in the person. First thing, word choice. When you started with your money topic, you gave us definition of money, right, from dictionary. It was such a long, difficult definition that by the middle of it, I already forgot what was in, at the beginning of it. Not very good thing. Also, when you were talking about things, about plastic money, you used a couple of difficult terms. It was difficult to follow you, damage your charm a little bit. Second, vocal variety. Well, use your voice more. Say, money. It when you, uh, just use your vocal variety, experiment with it. On the whole, I think that you have your charisma. You've been developed into a charismatic speaker. And if you mind your word choice better and use your vocal variety, you will only be become you will only faster become a nice speaker you can become. <laughs>